there, this is Len Oliver and I was just thinking about adding a small little video in order to show people how to organize their Google Drive. So is here is a screen that you see of my Google and uh, my drive. <clears throat> and when I click on my drive, what you're going to see is a lot of folders. Okay, and you see down below there are pictures, a couple of other things that I don't really have connected to the folders. Now, the cool thing about Google folders is that you can organize them in many, many different ways. One of the first thing is that when we come over to this spot here, I can organize them by names, okay, in reverse or the other way, uh, alphabetic. I can come and hit the button up here and put them going down, which holds the extra benefit of showing who made it and last time it was modified or entered. And again, I can change the orders of these also. I can go by the last modified date. So there's a whole bunch of different options there. Now, some of the other things that we can do with folders is we can right click on our mouse or double click if you're using Chromebook. And we can go right like this and it opens up a ribbon. Now this ribbon allows you to do things such as change color. So if there's something that you want to be able to make stand out because of something you're going into, or maybe you've got a bunch of things that have the same starting letter or two or similar names, you can put a color code, uh, folders, folders. Now by clicking that ribbon again, over on this one, you can see I can put things in and allows me to share with other people. I can choose different programs to open it up with, especially if it's a compressed file. I can add a shortcut into my drive for it. I can move a folder or a file into other places. I can add a star, and I'll show you what the stars do afterwards. I can rename it, again, change the different colors. I can search just within that folder. I can view the details of that folder, or I can download a complete folder, or I can remove it. A new update with Google says that all of the stuff in the trash will be deleted after 30 days. So any time that you want to remove something, be extra sure. Uh, normally, I'll throw something in my temp folder instead of delete it. If it's something I'm not too sure whether I'm going to need in the future. Now, how we create a folder is actually pretty simple. We come up to the new, we click onto it, and we click folder, and we give it whatever name we want. Now, you'll notice some of mine have dots. By putting a period at the beginning of it, you move this towards the front of your alphabetical order. Okay. And as you can tell, I'm going to call this one delete me so that I will remember to delete it. So when we look here, delete me now comes to the front of the queue, the alphabetical order, instead of where it should be down with the D's somewhere. Now, traveling back down this line here on the left, we have the priorities, okay? So if you have certain ones that you want access to immediately, uh, we have your drive, which is my drive. We have shared drives. If you have drives that are shared with you, with other teachers or with your district, we have shared from other teachers. We have recent, which is great because I go into there most of the time when I'm doing my planning. We have the starred one. So for the drive you go into or a file on a regular basis, make sure you have it starred. And we have the ever popular storage or things that you don't want to keep, otherwise known as trash. And then we have our storage down here that gives us a rough idea of what we have and the sizes of the things so that we can keep an eye on it. Now, where we have Google for Education, we don't quite need to worry about that. Now, one of the positive things about Google Drive is the ability to manipulate and move things around very, very quickly. So a file that I would like to have, I can drop into a drive in a couple of different ways. For example, I have this thing here dealing with a letter for parents. I can take that and I can quickly pull it up to wherever I want it to go when it comes to my drives. So for right now, I'm just going to drop that into my interactive environments one. 
and it goes up. Another way to, to do that would be to go right click and I can choose move to. And by choosing move to, again, I can choose where I want this to go onto my drives. Next is the search function. Now, this is one of the most powerful tools that I use on a daily basis, and I usually use them and forget that I need to do it and spend a few minutes looking. But as soon as it clicks to me what to do, it's easy. So when we go up to that carrot up here that goes down, I can choose what type of file, things, anything that I'm looking for. Let's just say videos for right now. And I can choose who they're from. Owned by me, not owned by me, a specific person. I can choose whether I want it to look for the trash, date modified, if I know its name, if I know these certain words are in the name, okay? I can click search, and now instead of going through endlessly down, 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 I have found all of the video files that are on my computer. 